I believe that um, we will reach this dream. As I said yesterday, we never surrendered and we will not surrender to achieve our ambition to create this world class film industry. We are here with, in beautiful Malta with the Malta Film Commissioner. How are you today, Johan? I'm okay. Nice <laughs> seeing you again. Yes, it's great to see you. And last night, first off, you gave a beautiful speech. And second off, you had such a great camaraderie with Colin Trevorrow. Yeah. I'd love to know um, how you collaborated to make the filming in Malta possible on Jurassic World Dominion. What yeah, was that process? A, a, it goes back to April um, um, 2019. So, uh, in January 2019, we raised the cash rebate to 40% cash back. So, uh, today, it's still among the top in Europe, our program. So, um, um, we got the attention of University Picture. Because we have a very strong relationships with um, University Picture and with other studios. Um, America is one among our top markets in terms of film business. So in April 2019, we went to University Pictures talking about our program, talking about the possibility of Jurassic World shooting in Malta. So our discussion was twofold. It was uh, our program, our skills, our film experience, our locations, but also the possibility of Malta appearing, being in the script, appearing on the big screen. And thanks to Colin, who was looking for an island in the Mediterranean and he spotted Malta and he said, you know, we want to go to Malta and we want to, uh, Malta, we want to be in the script. So we are so proud. I, 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 I saw the movie twice already. I enjoyed it both times. <laughs> and if you ask me if you see it the third time, I will see it the third yes. time. Yes! <laughs> for sure. I love that. Um, the pride that brings when you see your country, Malta, a small country in the Mediterranean, a great nation, um, um, 20 minutes of film action with the dinosaurs running in our streets, in, Valle in Birgum, Valletta. And that's why we are branding our marketing campaigns as the Jurassic Island, <laughs> because there are dinosaurs here. As there should be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, you are obviously rightfully proud of your country's history and culture. So how do you ensure that it is properly presented or that when you work with an international project, uh, Malta and the Maltese people are shown the way that they should be? As I said yesterday in my speech, we are proud of our history, but not chained to it. And that's why we want to make the next 100 years of experience in filmmaking better than the first 100 years. And um, our vision is clear. Our vision is clear of creating a world-class film industry in Malta. So that's why the government, my government, is investing heavily in the film infrastructure. We are known for the locations, the versatile locations that we can um, offer. Um, uh, we can easily double up from southern France to the Middle East. But also we are known for the water tanks. We are known for the skills of our crew, for the experience. And throughout these years, we hosted big names, including Ridley Scott. Um, it was lately Ridley Scott came to shoot his third film in Malta. First was in 1996 with the White Skull, uh, using the water tanks, where Malta is known globally for the water tanks. Then Ridley posi positioned us on the global map in 1999 with the film Gladiator. Yes. And now he, he shot Napoleon, where we doubled up for Paris, and uh, um, we doubled up for the Battle of Toulon. So as, as Ridley Scott pos positioned on the global map, uh, Colin Trevorrow with the film Jurassic World reinforced Malta. And uh, that's why we are so proud and thankful to Colin. That's why we, we honored Colin in the, our first edition of the Malta Film Awards, um, uh, awarding him with the Malta Film Commissioner's Award because um, he reinforced Malta and with, with his cre creativity and talent, he reinforced Malta on, on the global map. Oh, that's wonderful. So we keep on working to make sure that we keep attracting more business to Malta, keep creating jobs, sustainable industry, to create and reach our vision of creating 
a worst class for Mendesi in Malta. One quick final question. Sure. As an American, I am not that familiar with the Maltese film industry. If you had to select one film that's made by a Maltese person, by Maltese creatives, what would you recommend? We, our, our industry is still, in terms of local indigenous industry, we are still young. We have uh, films which are appearing uh, on the global domain. Um, uh, and uh, we are investing heavily in, to ensure that more films reach beyond Malta and be successful. And that's why our vision is to create tomorrow's filmmakers, being the best. And I believe that um, we will reach this dream. As I said yesterday, we never surrendered and we will not surrender to achieve our ambition to create this world class film industry. Absolutely, I believe it. I know you're gonna do it. Thank you so much. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.